Welcome Problem Solving fans to another problem of the day. And this one is all about area, and in particular areas of squares and triangles. Well, let's have a look. It says the area of square A is 36 centimetres squared. Well, let's take that information and write it on the diagram. So A is 36 centimetres squared. Now remember, if it's a square, then it must be length times width to equal the area. And we are told that the area is 36. So length times width must equal 36. Now we could say, well, it could be 12 times 3 then. That equals 36. Or 4 times 9, that equals 36. But that wouldn't work because with a square, the, the length and the width has to be the same. So 12 by 3 would be a rectangle. 4 by 9 would be a rectangle. So that is no use. So what we want is two numbers where it's the same number, we times them together to get 36. And that's going to be, the only option is 6 times 6 equals 36. So, so that tells us that each side of the square, it is a 6 by 6 square. You could also write 6s on the other sides as well. But that's not the final answer to the problem, because the problem actually says, find the area of one of the triangles. So our attention now turns to the triangles. Well, there's a couple of ways you could do it. One way is to look at the size of the big square. Well, if this distance is 10, and this is a square, then that makes that distance 10. So that makes the large shape a 10 by 10 square. And 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres is 100 centimetres squared. So the, that, and that is the large square. But then if you imagine subtracting out the small square from that, so if you take away the area of the small square, that would be 100 take away 36. Because if you take the small square, which is square A, out of the large square, that's when you're left with the eight triangles. So 100 take away 36, 0 take away 6 you can't do. So borrow, but you can't borrow from this 0, so that means you need to borrow from the 1. So borrow from the 1, and that becomes 0. The 1 you borrow makes that into 10, but you still can't do 0 take away 6 on the end. So borrow from the 10, and that becomes 9, and the 1 you borrowed makes that n0 into 10. 10 take away 6 is 4, 9 take away 3 is 6, and 0 take away nothing there is just nothing. So it's 64. So if you take square A out of the larger square, then that means you're left with 64 centimetres squared. And that 64 centimetres squared is the eight triangles put together. Now, we only want one of the triangles. So now we know that the 64 centimetres squared is eight triangles. All we need to do is do 64 divided by eight. Well, how many eights make 64? How many eights go into 64? What's 64 divided by eight? Whichever way you do it, if you know your eight times table, eight times eight is 64. So each one of the triangles must be worth eight centimetres squared. So this white one is worth 8 centimetres squared. All the white ones are worth 8 centimetres squared. And all the blue ones inside as well are worth 8 centimetres squared. And that's the final answer to the problem. The area of one of the triangles is 8 centimetres squared. If you think about it in reverse, just to check everything works out, we've got 8 triangles which are all worth 8. Well, 8 lots of 8 is, gets us back to 64. And then we've got the square in the centre, which is 36 centimetres squared. And we got told that in the question there. So 64 plus 36, 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 3 plus 1 is 10 again. So that's 100 centimetres squared. So the whole shape must be 100 centimetres squared. And that fits in with it being a 10 centimetre by 10 centimetre square because 10 times 10 is 100. So your final answer, it all seems to check out, is that one of the triangles is worth 8 centimetres squared.